everybody, Frick the Tech Guru here, and today we are going to unbox and review this, the Scuf Infinity Pro uh, PlayStation 4 Professional Gaming uh, Controller. Now, just in case you're not familiar, a Scuf controller is a wireless controller for both PS4, it also works on the PC. It allows you to uh, customize pretty much everything to your liking so that you get the best possible experience when you game and gives you a slight advantage, advantage over your competitors. Uh, when you order one of these, you can specify the color, the buttons, the triggers, um, the rings around the joysticks, the grips, and uh, pretty much whatever you can think of. So let's uh, unbox it and see what we got. All right, so just to take a look at the back before we unbox it, it does detail what I just told you about uh, customizing everything. You can customize the shell of the controller, the rings around it, all the buttons. Uh, you can even, even customize the actual joysticks themselves. You can even put a joystick knob on the D-pad. Uh, you can also customize your grip. And uh, the good thing about a scuff controller is it has these uh, two triggers on the back. So if you're playing like first-person shooters, your thumbs are tied up on the joysticks. Uh, so you don't have to move them quickly uh, to the square, circle, or X buttons. You can access those buttons right on the back. Um, so yeah, let's open it up. Packaging is really nice. You have the scuff logo there. Let's open it up. All right. Welcome to the world of scuff gaming. And that's from the CEO and uh, founder. Likes to give you a little note, which is great. Here you have the product guide. We won't get into it too much. But that details how to uh, customize and take apart each of the buttons. And here it is. This is the orange. We got orange. Looks uh, a lot like a regular PlayStation 4 controller. You see there the triggers on the back. This is the military style grip. You can tell already that uh, it does have quite a bit of grip. One of the advantage also of the grips that they apply is that it prevents uh, any slipping from sweat. It's supposed to uh, be better if you have sweaty hands when you play. And just right off the bat from the feel, I can tell it, it does feel a lot better than a regular PS4 controller. These triggers in the back that I was talking about are in a really good position for your middle fingers. Uh, you can also tell that these joysticks here are much taller than usual. Again, they're completely customizable and they move a lot smoother and uh, they're a lot more precise. So definitely an advantage in racing games or first person shooters for sure. Uh, one other thing, well, actually let's take a quick look at what else is in here. We have, I think that's for the joysticks or this is to uh, unlock. Yeah, it's to unlock the rings around the uh, joysticks. We have a couple extra uh, triggers here for the back. And let's see. This is the uh, EMR key. So this goes on the back of the controller right here, I believe. And yeah, it changes the, your button layout so you can customize what these buttons do. If you want to play, replace any of the triggers, they simply clip right off and you just slide it out there. We're going to do that right now for both the left and right sticks. And then we have these uh, longer ones here that we can just clip right on. They just snap right on like that. And again, you tailor these to uh, your preference. So you have a little bit more room in the back to, to control that now. Again, with this little key, if you can get right in there, you can see it's just like a tiny little hex Allen key almost. And you can turn this, and you can customize how much you have to press it. So now you can see there's a little bit less give. So you can shoot those bullets quicker. The other thing that you can do really quickly, as I showed you, this key here simply goes in here. You turn it. The rings pop off. These again are changeable depending on what colors you want. And then the joystick pops right out and you can replace it with whatever one you want. Okay, so uh, I'm starting with Rocket League because it's the game I play the most of. Not that I'm really any good, but I do find an advantage already to this controller. Number one would be the sweaty hands because I tend to get pretty intense and the smoothness of the joysticks. So with racing games or with games like this where you're driving a vehicle, you want to be able to fine tune your vehicle. And I find it is a lot easier with this. It moves ever so slightly very easily. So it's a lot more sensitive. In this game, because I'm not using uh, my right thumb too much on the right stick, uh, I don't really need to use these buttons in the back because my thumb is freed up for the, for these buttons anyway. But overall, 
uh, I'm really impressed. The grip seems to help quite a bit too. And uh, the sensitivity of the buttons really helps as well. So let's switch to a first person shooter and we'll try that out and see if we have any sort of advantage. All right, so again, controller feels amazing with the first person shooter. I know normally PC players use a keyboard and mouse, I'm more used to a controller. And, and again, this is mostly gonna be used on a PS4. Um, so what I've done with this, since I played the, started playing this game, is I did uh, change the sensitivity of the trigger. So if you look really close, I barely have to press it. Normally you'd have to push that a little more. It shoots right away. Another advantage, again, you're using both controllers on the thumbs. So you have these extra triggers down here with your middle fingers. So now I can jump easily. I don't have to move my hand from one to the other. It gives me a lot more control. I can also crouch right now. And you can change those buttons to do whatever you want with the help of that key. And uh, you can specify that. It's all outlined in the instructions. But overall, I have to say I'm very impressed. This controller here starts at 139 uh, American dollars. You can uh, put a lot more money into it uh, than that if you want to by uh, buying new joystick modules, new rings, new colors. Um, you can get a lot for it. So just keep that in mind. I highly recommend the Scuff controller. This is the Infinity 4 PS uh, Pro. And uh, yeah, it's a great controller. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for my next videos.